It is I, the Lord of Chaos, the master of total disaster, the necrosexual. And I'm also available for appearances at corporate events, motivational speaking, and of course, funerals. I am ready to write a new chapter in the grimoire of brutality. I have a very diabolical treat coming all the way from Australia. Vomitor! <laughs> Guys, how the hell are you? Pretty good. fucking good now, yeah. A few beers, a little bit. Let me first say, welcome to hell. And by hell, I mean Philadelphia. We've seen worse. We Love just come from fucking Brooklyn. Black metal bird! <laughs> For all the posers who might be unfamiliar with you, why don't you do them a favor and tell them your names? Death Dealer. I'm not in Vomitor, so... He runs it, though. I do the label that they're on in Europe. Tony, Tony Vomit. Vomit. Tony Vomit. Death dealer. Boy, I would love to shake your mother's hands for bestowing such metal names upon you. So how would you describe the sound that is Vomitor, the roar of war that is Vomitor? Nuclear war, six feet in the grave. I find your music extremely motivating. I mean, you sing about topics like nuclear holocaust, post-apocalyptic wastelands, raising hell. Where do you find your inspiration? Hate of humanity, hate of religion, and the love of fucking, hardcore fucking metal. When did you decide that you wanted to be a black metal death thrashing warrior for life? When I heard sentence of death by destruction. Photos and the fucking power and the hate. The very first time I heard about Vomitor was on the destruction message board when I was 14 years old because that's where hardcore, true, cold, black metal warriors hang out on the destruction internet message board when they're 14 years old. So the darkness has come full circle. There you go, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be. That's poetic. Death dealer. You are originally from Australia. It's a country that has a legendary death metal scene. You are joined by bands like Gospel of the Horns, Destroyer 666, The Bee Gees. How has such brutal music thrived in such a desolate part of the world? All those bands you mentioned, except for The Bee Gees, of course. All those bands are from the same town that I grew up in. A shithole little town that run around a fucking steel mill. So all we had to do was get pissed, listen to fucking metal, and we were the enemies of just about everybody in fucking town, so we had to stick together, and everybody's still fucking surviving, still fucking hardcore as fuck. What is the most skull-crushing show from back in the day that you played in, or that you can remember? Bestial Wallace, when they changed their name from Corpus Mill Station to Bestial Wallace, their first show, it really fucking wiped out every band in the country. Their little names are fucking gone, you know, like that, that one show wiped out just about the entire Melbourne scene. It wiped out the entire scene? Pretty much. So it was like a genocide of yeah, posers. Yeah, <laughs> the posers knew where they stood. A poser holocaust. <laughs> poser cost. Poser cost. That is so metal. Is my war paint smeared? Sorry. You good? What's your favorite method for wreaking havoc? Booze. Drinking booze. Booze and <laughs> heavy. Booze and heavy metal and, well, a ton of drugs. I like this one drink. You should try it sometimes. Mold wine with Zinfandel, cinnamon sticks, and raisins. It's so brutal. Uh, yeah, fuck okay. This is serious, guys. This is a global issue that is affecting people around the world. Posers! How do you think we deal with them? Neutron hammer. Neutron hammer, right answer. Neutron hammer. Neutron hammer. Thank you guys. I promise this wouldn't be too painful, although I kind of hope it was, for taking the time out to speak with a necrosexual. Necro. Necrosexual. I hope that we can join in ending this interview with a black metal pose off. This is black metal. This is black metal. <laughs> This is Black Metal. Thank you for watching, posers. I'm the Necrosexual. I'll haunt your nightmares. He fell off the chair. Man, I'm too old for that shit.
How are we doing? Hey, how are you? Excellent. Anything else? That's it. Any bag? Uh, yes, please. Excited for the holiday. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, I just came from an Equinox party. It was brutal. Equinox party. Yeah. 